This is Skip Lemaster, Gordon Lemaster. He is with Pacific Enzymes. This is Mark Cagle. He is the road superintendent for Yolo County. They will tell you what they're doing. Mark, what are you doing? Well, we're trying to re we're reconstructing this road. It was uh, pretty bad shape. And, uh, we hauled in a bunch of rock on it, and now we're grinding it up at the enzyme and trying to put it back together and tip to it in a couple months. And what we're using to do that with is a, uh, is a super grinding machine, eight feet at a time. So it's making eight foot passes. The beauty of the machine that we're using currently is there's a water truck running in front of it with a large hose that's hooked to it and we're injecting the enzymes into the soil and it's mixing the enzymes in the soil together as it goes. So it's not only grinding the machine, uh, the road up, it's, it's mixing it up as, as best as possible it can. Right now we're... deeper in order to get down to the sub-base and get down to the uh, clay fine that, that we were looking for. And if you can see this, this is how well it gets mixed up and this is how well the moisture gets in. So every granular of soil has enzymes in it and we can tell if the moisture content is right because just by making, making a fist it balls up and it doesn't leave any water residue on your hand. So our moisture content right now is perfect. When we finish with this road, especially with this good clay and all of these fines in here, uh, within a couple of months this road should be just like an asphalt road. Do I understand that the enzymes continue to harden the soil to Absolutely. infinity? It takes about uh, 72 hours for the road to cure and start to dry, but as the drying process goes on week after week and month after month and the traffic gets on it, it continues to harden and continues to compact for about three months. Mark, how many miles of road are you doing now? Uh, this time we're doing two, almost two and a half, three miles. And uh, we've already done one and it's turned out great. It's, now it's just hardened up and it's like a compacted uh, gravel road with no no loose fines on it, it's ready for chipping. You're going to chip seal it? Yeah, we're going to do a double chip on it here in another month. Do you find that that saves maintenance over the years? Uh, well, this, this is our first time, but from different people I've talked to, they've had 8, 10, 12 years of uh, success with it, so we're willing to give it a try. And it's a lot cheaper than oil. And a lot more friendly to yes. the ecology. And the environment is, uh, this is a very environmental friendly product. The uh, enzymes themselves are completely organic. There's absolutely no hazardous material involved in this at all. It's not like using concrete or lime, cement products, uh, anything like that that creates a hazardous waste. This creates absolutely no hazardous waste at all. It's all injected into the soil by the use of a water truck. And at the end of the day, if you have leftover, you can dump your, your extra water any place. It doesn't create any environmental harm at all. It's 100% organic. Thank you both very much. Uh, what we're doing now is we're blading everything on the road that has been already enzymed. And we're going to uh, blade it down to the base where we have three inches of loose material, then we'll run over the uh, loose material with a compactor. And this is where we'll start compacting. Once we get it down to where we want it, with a, about three inches of loose soil, we'll run the compactor over it uh, several times, and then we'll take from these windrows, we'll start layering out the road in three inch lips and we'll have the compactor running the entire time up and down and uh, when we get our final lift off then we will uh, go ahead and, and uh, shape the road, crown it and compact it again, put one final coat of light enzymes oil over the top 
and that will be the finished road. we're doing now is making the, the final wind row and right after we make this cut we're going to bring the compactor in right behind this grater and start compacting this road. Uh, we're now down where we have three inches, three to four inches of loose soil that's going to start being compacted. Here comes the roller to pop the grater. After he goes up and down this this row once or twice, then we'll start putting the uh, three inch lifts on. And we're going to take this road up uh, 30 inches at a time, no more, because this roller is not that big. We want to make sure we get 100% compaction on it. So we're going to compact it quite a few times in between each lift. I wanted to take just a moment and show you the setup that we're using for this job, which I think is probably the most ideal situation that you can have. This water truck is 3,600 gallon water truck. It's hooked directly into the grinding machine and it's only gravity fed because the grinder has its own pump right here and it sucks the water in. The operator who rides up on top here can adjust the amount of water that's going into the uh, soil. Now the water has all been treated with enzymes, so it's injecting just the perfect amount of moisture and enzymes in. Well, we're just getting ready to put the last lift on. This is the end of the project for this section of road. Um, I think it's important to note at this time that uh, we've been working with this soil all day, moving it into windrows and layering it down back onto the roadway. And because of the way the enzymes were injected into the soil, and metered into the soil originally, we have not had to add any moisture or any additional water to this road surface today. We have been able to work with the uh, existing moisture content and that all came about from being able to put enough water into the asphalt grinder in order to make sure that the uh, moisture level of all the soil all the way down to the bottom was at a sufficient amount that uh, we were able to work it all day. The road's been uh, rolled and graded and left set for, for one day and now tomorrow they'll come back with a uh, slurry and the gr road grader. They'll shape the road the way they want it and go over it with a permazyme treated slurry which will fill in any of the last few remaining uh, cracks and uh, crevices in the road. Once that dries then it, it'll be a nice smooth road and it'll be finished. That's the last uh, step of the process. This is in Yolo County. Today's September 7th and the project is now completed. It was completed by doing a ch double chip seal over the top of the enzyme surface. And uh, previously you saw what that process was. I just thought it would uh, be nice to show you what the end result would look like once the chip seal is added to it. This is a nice smooth, flat, hard surface. 
and it does have a double chip seal over the top of it.